So what's up guys, Best Games here, and today we have a video, well, it's going to be mainly about fighting games, and what I mean by fighting games is things like, um, you know, Street Fighter, Tekken, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, things like that. Um, so, before I really get into this commentary though, I want to share with you a match that I had with Chaos Gamer. Um, Chaos has been in a lot of my videos, um, and on my second channel, there's actually a big um, set of videos that I played a bunch of matches with Chaos on Skullgirls. And in Skullgirls, it's a fighting game that's basically all hand-drawn animations and hand-drawn art style. And it doesn't have a lot of characters, but it's fun. It was free for PlayStation Plus, and I actually own the game, the original game. And then Skullgirls Encore became free, and uh, yeah. So, before I really get into the commentary about fighting games and EVO 2014, I want to just let you guys watch this game. I'm not going to voice over it or anything. I just want you guys to just watch and enjoy. Um, if you like that sort of thing, stick around to the end of the video where I'll be talking about fighting games a little bit more and what they, what I used to think and what I think about them now. So without any further ado, let's get into the match of Skullgirls with the Chaos and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys right after the match. Thanks. <laughs> Look at that finish. Oh, Chaos was so pissed. Um, so yeah, the fighting games are something... I want to say that they're special to me, but they're not. Um... Fighting games is one of the things that I could sit there and watch on a stream for tons of time. And actually, before I get farther into this topic, if you wanted to see the rest of that, um, more of the more of Skullgirls and more of me and Chaos playing together, then you can head over to my second channel. The link is the top link in the description. Um, and you guys can watch more of that. I believe that there was live com on that one for me, um, but I think it came out a little kind of crappy, so I just decided I'm going to throw it on my second channel instead of scrapping it all together, because I do have a slight quality of videos on this channel um, <laughs> that you may or may not believe in me. Um, so yeah, um, Skullgirls and other fighting games. I personally, like I played some fighting games when I was a kid, and... When I was younger, I thought 2D fighting games, one-on-one, -on -one, were just stupid. They annoyed me, they bored the shit out of me, and everybody was better at them than me. Um, and me being best at games, didn't really like that, so I just stayed away from them. Um, not until I got into college, which, I'm, I'm 24, so I've, I've been to college, I've lived my life. A little bit more than probably most of you have, which, you know, that's that's my thing. Um, I started playing, well, even before college, I played Super Smash Brothers, and I played a fuck ton of Super Smash Brothers. And if I was to go pro or be at Evo for any fighting game, Super Smash Brothers is probably the one that I would be able to push myself into that bracket i highly doubt i would win i highly doubt i would beat the best of the best but i could probably make it to evo and be within those pools of you know 400 people or whatever that are the best um i have no doubt about that in my mind i could get there um getting past there though getting the top eight in evo no fucking way um i wish that'd be awesome but Especially if they're playing melee, no chance. Um, I can't. I can't play melee on that competitive level. I could play brawl kind of in that competitive level. Um, I'm kind of hoping that with the new Super Smash Brothers coming out later this year, I might be able to push myself into that bracket. Um, but I don't know if that'll be considered the top or competitive Super Smash Brothers. I mean, I'd like to say it would be, but 
it's not always how that works. I mean, Brawl tried, but they went back to Melee. So, anyways, um, yeah, Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, Evo. So yeah, I watched Evo this year. Um, I didn't see all of it. I saw the finals for Super Smash Bros. Melee, where Mango took that shit and ran with it. Which, of course, he was Fox, so, I mean, whatever. You know, I'm sure you've all seen the joke. Uh, no items, final destination only, Fox only. Um, yeah, that's, that's competitive Melee for you, is basically, Oh, hey, you have Fox? Oh, hey, it's final destination? Oh hey, no items. Yeah, that's that's competitive melee for you. Um, but beyond that, I I think Evo is amazing. Um, I watch it every year for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three, and ever since college, I got into Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three. I was bad at it. Um, luckily, most fighters now were three button fighters instead of six button fighters. Six button fighters like Skullgirls. Um, kind of kick my ass. I I'm not good at them. But three button fighters, I can get my head around that a little bit easier because I am an old man in uh competitive gaming terms. I'm 24. That that is the old man status. Um all the old men of optic for all you Call of Duty guys, they're all like 24 and 25 and 26. Like they're old. I'm using air quotes again, but you can't see them. Um they're considered old. So I'm part of that older style, which, uh, you know, once once you get older, things start to not be as easy for you. Like muscle memory's there, but your muscle fibers aren't necessarily as fast as somebody younger than you. So you got to kind of play more with your head than with, you know, reflexes, which is something I don't really do in Call of Duty all that much, because I try to use my reflexes and they're slower than the 13-year-olds that are fucking playing that game. Um, which is unfortunate for me, but hey, you know what, I mean, you shouldn't even be playing the game because you're 13, but I'm going to throw that away because uh, I shouldn't even be talking about that right now. So, fighting games. I tried uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I got that for my birthday, like, last year, and the Street Fighter kicks my ass. I fucking can't play Street Fighter. I know how to do a Hadouken. I know how to do a Shoryuken, providing that I'm facing to the right. If I'm facing to the left, oh my god, I can't do a Shoryuken for my fucking life. Um, and, I mean, for all you people that are interested in fighting games, you would know what that button movement is. It's like a Z going forward. So you, like, go to the right, then you go down, you hit down. You don't hit, you don't, like, drag it like you're going, like, in a circle. You literally just go down, and then you go forward like you're going in a circle. So it's, like, right down and then quarter circle up. Like, if, if that makes any sense to you, and if you if you know fighting games, then you'll know that, that combination, you'll know how to do that. And you'll know how to do a Shoryuken. You'll probably be able to do it better than me. Um, Hadoukens, it's just a quarter circle forward. That's just how fighting games work. Um, most fighting games. Don't, don't actually misquote me there. Um, some fighting games don't work with quarter circles and things like that, like Super Smash Bros. And there are other games that are just, they even use even more complex shit like Tekken, um, which way above my fucking head. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I button mash. Um, playing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I know actually how to do some things in that game, um, but they tend to not work. And then I tend to just resort to button mashing to a degree, um, even though I kind of know what I'm doing as I'm button mashing. So it, it works out in my favor, sort of, not really. Um, Skullgirls, I button mash. I, it's a six button fighter. There's medium, high, low kicks and punches. And then there's also the, uh, the, uh, you know, extra, like the assist buttons and things like that. And once we get to six button fighters, I'm, like, I'm not lost. Because I, I understand the concept of having six buttons for, you know, different types of punch, uh, punches and kicks. But my head can't react fast enough to actually get those things working. Lola, don't bark. Thank you. I'm trying to talk into a microphone here. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. You're cute. But don't. Okay? Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so a dog likes barking. Um, Lola, she's a cutie. Um, <laughs> I actually make a joke to myself sometimes that I should just make videos about her. 
and put that up on like a separate channel and then I'd probably get more likes, favorites, and more subscribers than this channel. Um, cause she's fucking adorable, but anyways, um, yeah, fighting games. So watching Evo and watching Justin Wong take that Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 championship, um, like I thought that was amazing. I thought that that was awesome. Uh, watching Street Fighter 4, I tried watching some of the Grand Finals. I thought it was boring as fuck. Um, all they were doing was just shooting Hadoukens at each other and reflecting them back to each other. And apparently Rose, the first female character to ever win Street Fighter, was, you know, played by whoever the fuck that was. But, um, you know, cool, whatever. Females got some more representation, you know, being the first female fighter to win. Cool, whatever. But watching Street Fighter 4 is like, you know, fucking trying to tweeze my goddamn eyebrows, which I don't do. Which is why I don't watch Street Fighter 4. Um, I watched a little bit of Blaze Blue. Um, I like Blaze Blue. I like playing Blaze Blue. I'm bad at it. I am terrible at it. I put the thing on easy and I still get my ass kicked. Um, I wish Dive Kick would make it an Evo because Dive Kick is fun as hell to watch and fun as hell to play. Um, it's just a mind game. It's literally more mind games than reflexes because it's two buttons. You jump and you kick. And that's it. And that that game is beautiful. Um, and then Smash Brothers. I'm watching that final match between Jigglypuff and... and uh, I think it was Jigglypuff. <laughs> Unless I'm completely wrong, which then I'm going to look like a complete idiot. I don't care, though. Um... Yeah, Jigglypuff and Fox, like that, I knew who was going to win because obviously he's playing with Fox, so, you know, you're playing as Fox in Melee, you automatically win because it's like God tier. It's like if you play, um, what's it called, Meta Knight in Brawl, like you might as well just like put the controller down and fucking walk away. Or if you play like a Rogue in, Hearth in Hearthstone, like just put the goddamn, just hit the concede button. Because it's going to be a Miracle Rogue, it's going to play a Gadget Zan on turn fucking 4, and it's going to like sap it and fucking do like 20 other things and just draw its entire deck out in two turns and then just basically wreck your face. Because it doesn't cost any mana to do any of that shit. Um, yeah, that was a little bit of a soapbox for Hearthstone, but yeah, fuck Rogues, and fuck Street Fighter 4, and fuck most 2D fighting games. But uh, some I do enjoy, and some I do enjoy watching and playing. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I really got for this commentary. Um, I talked a lot and just kind of rambled a little bit, but that's okay. I'm actually in the mood to make commentaries, so... Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's it. That's all I got. Um, if you like the video, then hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to hear more of my sexy voice, then hit the subscribe button. The subscribe annotation has been on the screen the entire time because I'm too lazy to fit that into wherever it should go, so I just put it there, and you can hit that button whenever you want. Um, I hope you guys like this longer video, um, because this commentary, this half of the commentary is like <laughs> 12 minutes long and then the game and the intro so yeah uh subscribe to this channel subscribe to my second channel and uh leave me a comment down below telling me if you actually enjoy fighting games if you like fighting games if you want to watch fighting games and if you want to see more fighting games on this channel because i will force myself to play some i'll force myself to play street fighter 4 and actually put that up as a watch me fail because i i absolutely goddamn suck at that game um so yeah, uh, that's it. That's all I got. I'm out. Best of games is done. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! SATCOM spotted. Trinity rocket available. Friendly
Holy Trinity rocket inbound. Super high, ready for deployment. 